Hi everybody, I'm doing a Naked Truth vlog for Miss Trisha Hirschberger um, on the Naked Truth on YouTube. I probably should have done one for the LA one seeing as I am also moving to Los Angeles from Boston um, within the next week or two, two probably, but uh, I wanted to do this one because I like the topic. I think it's interesting. I, I, I like sort of diving into the inner workings of, of YouTube artists and w internet celebrities and all that. Um, I'm a big fan of internet content in general, like, you know, uh, like, like SourceFed and Filter Franco and Rooster Teeth and Toby Turner and uh, a lot of all just all over the board. And um, I really like uh, the idea of, of getting to know certain people on a personal level. Um, the, main, the main reason why is because the more you get to know somebody, especially on YouTube, the more you can relate to them. And it's kind of that feeling like, oh, you could you could go out and get a drink with this person. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like, like Elliot Morgan is a great example. Like, he's the kind of guy that I feel like, yeah, I could go out and get a drink with him or something like that. Something, you know, just be fun. God, I'm pasty white. I gotta stop looking down. Look at the look at the thing. Um, but, but it's true. Uh, Elliot, Elliot is a good example. Another person from Rooster Teeth is like like Ray, Michael, or Gavin. Even though Ray doesn't drink, um, or you, uh, Trisha. It just a nice person that you could just kind of hang out with, and and that's some that's a very strong disconnect that you don't get with other celebrities, um, like like famous musicians or actors or something like that. You sort of they're some they're sort of put up on this pedestal of like of godliness to where like you can't approach them because if you try to, they might shoot you down or they might be a little bit rude or or, or something like that, and and it's and it's nerve wracking. So when you see one of those celebrities in real life, it. it like I, I met Kate Hudson and that was really bizarre because I know nothing about her except I've only seen her in stuff. And I was just like, oh, my God, I don't know what to say to you. But if I feel like if I ran into you, Trisha or, or Ray or Michael or something, I could just kind of go. All right. Like, like, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm a big fan of your work. Like, uh, keep it up. Um, nice to meet you. Would you like to go get dinner, <laughs> get brunch? If you're a brunch fan, I'm a brunch fan. Um, <laughs> but really, uh, but on, on the, on the opposite side of that, there's also the alternative, which is, um, knowing too much about somebody, which is what, what you stated as well. And, and people who sort of take advantage of that really well, not take advantage, um, categorize that. That's a better way to say it. Categorize that really well is somebody like Philip DeFranco or Toby Turner, where they have different channels for different things. They have their personal channels like Toby Turner and, um, and Philip DeFranco, where you can just sort of check on what's what they're doing that day, or like you know check up on Phil's kid, or what's Toby getting, what shenanigans is he getting into, uh, that kind of thing. And but then you have their main channel like Sexy Phil for like his new stuff, or to, or Tobuscus for like his funny videos or, or, or literal trailers or something like that. And it's really a great disconnect, so you can sort of pick and choose what you want to watch. Uh, it's also great. It's a business strategy because the more subscribers you get, never mind. Um, but it's 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 a smart way to go about doing things, and um, I guess that's sort of the way I feel about it. Is it, there's a certain there's a difference between there's a huge difference between famous people and internet famous people, which is essentially internet famous people are just people you'd want to hang out with, like you said, just come on over, be my friend. Like you got a bunch of friends on the internet, and I think that's great. And as somebody who wants to sort of make it in the industry, whether it's music or, or YouTube or film or something or other, uh, th th these vlogs are great to watch because you can sort of get, you can dive into the mind of somebody who, who's been there. And uh, I, I love it. I think it's great. And um, what else do I have to say about this topic? Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess that's all. That's it for me. Um, Thanks for watching, Trisha. Thanks for watching anybody else who did. Um, I might do this more often. This is kind of fun. This is fun. I'm very cold, though. It's kind of chilly in Boston today. Uh, I closed my window because of that. Anyway, I'm off. My name's Pat Weston again. Subscribe to Trisha Hirschberger. Bye. <laughs>